Zone 4. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Jin Ting Wang. I'm uh, from New Mexico, and uh, I'm a shareholder. I have two questions. First, that uh, in your 91 letter, uh, you wrote that uh, investors eventually repeat their mistakes. So uh, what do you do to keep you from making the same mistake twice? Now, and the second question is, in your 92 letter, uh, you wrote that you attempt to deal with the problem of uh, future earning uh, in two ways. Uh, first is the business you understand, and the second is the margin of safety. And uh, you say that uh, they are equally important. Uh, but, if you cannot, uh, but if you cannot find the happy combination of uh, fast growth at a low PE, uh, which one do you think is, is more important, uh, fast growth or low PE? That's my two questions. I think we were told by we were told by some higher authority which one was more important there for a second. <laughs> uh, well, they're, they're, they're bound together. I, uh, obviously, if you understood a business perfectly, uh, the future of a business, you would need very little in the way of a margin of safety. So the, the more volatile the business is, or possibility is, but assuming you still want to invest in it, the larger the margin of safety. I think in that first edition of Graham Adott, if I remember, it was a J.I. Casey used and said, you know, maybe it was worth somewhere between 30 and 110 or some number. He said, well, that, you know, that sounds pretty, th how much good does that do you to know that it's worth between 30 and 110? Well, it does you some good if it's selling below 30 or above 110. And that's, you need a large margin of safety. Uh, well, if you're, if you're driving a truck across a bridge that holds, it says it holds 10,000 pounds and you've got a 9,800 pound vehicle, you know, if the bridge is about six inches above the the the, uh, uh, ca the the crevice that it covers, you may feel okay. But if it if it's you know over the Grand Canyon, you may feel you want a little larger margin of safety in terms of only driving a 4,000-pound truck or something across. So it depends on the nature of the underlying risk. Uh, uh, we don't get the margin of safety now that 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 we got. Uh, in a 1973 four period, for example, uh, the biggest thing to do is understand the business. If you understand the business uh, and get into the kind of businesses where surprises, by the nature, surprises are few, and and we think we're largely in that type of business. The earlier part about you know I, I've said about learning from your mistakes. The best thing to do is learn from other guys' mistakes. I mean you know it's like you know Patton used to say you know. I mean, that, uh, it's an honor to die for your country. Make sure the other guy gets the honor, you know. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so our approach is, is, is really to try and learn vicariously, but there's a lot of mistakes that I've repeated. I can, I can tell you that. that uh, uh, the biggest one, probably the biggest category over time, is being reluctant to pay up a little for a, really, for a business I knew was really outstanding or to continue to buy it at higher prices when I knew it was outstanding. So the costs of that have been in, in many, many billions. Uh, and, and I'll probably keep making that mistake. Uh, uh, there are, the mistakes are made when there are businesses you can understand and they're attractive and you don't do something about it. I don't worry at all about the mistakes that come about because when I met Bill Gates, I didn't buy Microsoft or something. That's, that's not my game. But the mistakes are made when you, most of our mistakes have been mistakes of omission rather than commission. Charlie? Yeah, I think most people get very few what I call no-brainer opportunities, where it's just so damned obvious that, that this is going to work. And since they are very few and they may be separated by periods of years, I think people have to learn to have the, the courage and the intelligence to step up in a major way when those rare opportunities come by. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be willing to take a really big bite. And uh, it's, it's crazy if you don't. And it's crazy if you dabble around at the edges so you're not prepared to take a big bite when the time comes. <laughs>